What up, everybody? It's Bray Thunder once again, co-host with... And welcome back to... <laughs> I guess it's accurate. And with that, we welcome you back to part 4 of Final Fantasy XII, the remaster version of Zodiac Age. Which is totally not the title, so I feel embarrassed. <laughs> so... When we last left off, we joined our friend in a marvelous adventure, and uh, we're going to continue that adventure by slaying more monsters. Yeah, basically. <laughs> he, we're just basically listening to each other ramble on about shit, so... <laughs> Exactly. It's always fun. <laughs> see? We don't have to see each other's games, we just gotta talk. Yeah, fuck you, dinosaur. Right. Alright, uh, screw that dinosaur. As I said before, he will kill you. And you will, you will cry. I don't like it when people cry. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's my phoenix down I wasted. <laughs> What? <laughs> I mean, for me it's annoying, but mostly it's just I don't want to. I don't want to have to cheer someone up over, uh, over the fact that you don't find us being fun together and dying. Dying's a very sad thing for life. Right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, we just picked up a Firefly. Worst item or worst accessory in the game. Reduces all XP earned to zero. <laughs> Not at all. In fact, it's so useful in the previous game, it took you a while to be able to equip this. You can actually equip this in the very beginning of the game. That's how little fate they had in you. <laughs> So, uh, uh, either way, uh, this is the guy we need to talk to. Danto. That's the first good news. Yes, we will. Because I have no life. Well, to a degree, I don't. <laughs> Every now and then. Eh. I've actually been on my, I've actually been on my meds for, like, probably a week, two weeks now. Right. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's our target. Basically, a cactus with a teeny flower on its head. In Yangbing's lady, uh, labyrinth. I was about to say ladybird, but I don't know why I would have said that. Don't forget to take the flower. Well, thanks for that info. <laughs> Die. More death. <laughs> oh, always great. Uh, over in this small area right next to where you get that hunt, there is a rare game, but it won't spawn automatic. But thankfully, this one isn't as bad as Dust Ray, <laughs> where you have to be near death. <laughs> Uh, basically, you have to kill that character, go away, wait till another one spawns, and then kill that one that respawns, and then that will spawn the rare game. So, let's go hunting! Because that's always fun, right? Alright, right, Pinel is level 6. Very happy. Actually, I... Yeah. Well, actually, thanks to me hunting uh, Dust Ray, that rare game, I'm actually a level higher than I should be right now. Yeah, I mean, it helps. Like I said it before, viewers, it's very easy to break this game, despite what people might say. Alright, so here's a second character. Kill him? Huh? 
Oh, I misread that wrong. I believe it's every time you kill a Cactor, there's a 20 to 40% chance that it'll spawn. Basically, only problem is there's only one Cactor and it's the one that just spawns over there. Oh, except for this one. <laughs> except for the one I just- Wow, I'm lying to the viewers today. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> then again, my knowledge is very skim of this game. I don't normally do the rare game hunt, so... For the record... Huh? Because mostly, I'll say it right now, and this is also for the viewers, uh, rare games don't really do much for you until later in the game. And I'll explain, I'll be explaining that much, well I guess I'll have to explain to you because I don't know if you'll ever make it that far for that part. <laughs> ah shit! Okay, so yeah, this uh, corner that I'm standing in right now, this is where the uh, flower will spawn. Oh shit! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, only problem is, do I have Blino? Yes I do. You see, uh, I didn't even know it could do that, it can blind you apparently. Landed by the light. Holy shit! Buddy, calm down! Buddy, calm down! This thing's on a sugar rush! Ugh. Stay still! <laughs> Stay still! Oh my god! This thing's on a sugar rush, man! So am I. Come back here, you little shit! <laughs> what happened with you? Oh, for uh. Stop healing yourself! You immense shit! Yeah, sounds about right. Holy snap, this thing's on. This thing's like on cocaine! Ah! Oh, nuts! Oh, Jesus! Hey, I just healed myself by 115. <laughs> right? Holy shit! Holy shit! Dude, this thing's on a sugar rush like no business! Good Christ! Calm yourself, you little fuck! Wow, I have no MP anymore. Nah, I'm gonna kill this thing if it's the last thing I fucking do. Oh yeah, shit. Get back up. So yeah, that's what happens when you're near death. Turn around, motherfucker! Look at me! I said, look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Stop hitting my girl! Holy shit! Oh! Well, that's why it's on a sugar rush. It does a spin attack that even I didn't wasn't aware about. Please. I guess we do. Okay, uh, I was not expecting that to be as hard as it was, but we vanquished, uh, Cactor. Right. And we also get the key item, Cactus Flower, which we're gonna need for a quest later. That we can't do right now. Sadly. Huh. Aha! There it! Okay! What the fuck? Oh, never mind. My theory was correct about the killing the two characters, but you have to stand in the specific spot, and I ran past it. But this is the rare game, ripe ramper urge. I don't know how to pronounce the fucking thing. I don't care. But either way, dead. 
So that's the, uh, that's the, that's supposed to be the first official rare game that you're supposed to face, but I'm cheap. As we will learn. But yeah. So when you defeat certain rare games, if the beastary says this strain is yet unrecorded in the camp's arsenals, that means you can uh, fight that rare game over and over again. And the reason this is good is because uh, certain uh, rare games can give you very special items to steal. Nice. <laughs> I don't know who this bad guy. <laughs> the same one that threw you in jail. Wow. <laughs> wow. Troll. <laughs> I would actually put. Yeah. So dust dust ray. I don't think has anything special to seal. Or at least I don't know what it gives you. And this guy, I believe he gives you a steam root, which can be made to use a, to make a powerful katana. But I'm not going to bother because there's a reason in this game that will be showing off much later in the Let's Play. So let's go back to Don, Don, Dentro. It's Dentro, but I call him Dentro anyways. Which could have been dead. You could have came over me, you jackass. This is one of the reasons I was not afraid to waste all my potions, because he gives you 10 right off the bat. <laughs> and 500 gold. And 10 gold. And 500 gold. Would you take it to my wife? Yeah. Would you take it to my wife for me? She's in the village north. Normally, I wouldn't do this, but I'm going to because there's there's an easy way to get back to Rabinastra. So, I'm going, and I'm going to do this early anyways. So he told us to go north. We're gonna go north. I am so happy for you, man. <laughs> what happened? Right? <laughs> oh. What's up, <laughs> Jesus! That scared the c viewers. I'm sorry for the screech, but I was just like, holy shit, that scared me. Uh, there is a rare game in this area as well. I'm going to try. If I see it, I'm running like fuck. Speaking of which, speaking of which, run, run, run. No! Uh, that rare game we just saw is a fat fucking bird. Quote unquote. Yeah. But yeah, there's a fat bird up there that I'm not gonna deal with. Uh, the rare item from him is a rainbow egg. Which sounds fucking delicious. Yeah. Good. <laughs> That's why I'm eating my vegetables. But yeah, uh, that rainbow egg, if you sell it, uh, you can then obtain a pack that gives you 10 high potions. And high potions are very, very good in this game. I mean, it's what you would expect. Like a potion to potion, a high potion is a super potion, and then an X potion is a hyper potion. Base. Yeah, we got 78 points. Uh, I'm gonna sp unlock this. I'm actually gonna unlock is HP licenses. So I'm gonna go with number three because that gives a lot. Pinello. I'm gonna unlock a Battle Lore, which increases uh, battle damage with physical. I'm gonna unlock one of her magical lures, which is a uh, magical power up. Yep. <laughs> so, my character just went from having 200 HP already to having 300. 
right? I believe they left it out of this game. Either that or I'm confused because it might have been with a certain class. The highest you can actually raise it through a license in one shot is 450. Yeah, basically you can be a tank uh, very early if you do the LP grinding. I won't suffer you guys through that and I don't intend to break this game that quickly, but... That's just information I'm willing to give. Just to be nice, right? Basically. Let's see. Killing, just killing a bunch of wolves. Jesus. I believe there are. No, they're not over here. They're, oh yeah, they're over the area. area. Never mind. There is another rare game here, but this one's uh, a little trickier to spawn. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I got a lightning thing, sweet. Yeah, there are three elemental things in this game. They do a shit ton of damage, but they only have a 50-50 shot of hitting. Okay. Well, that's, that's a 70-30, so... Oh, okay, never mind. Get it. Right? Yeah. So the rare game on this beach is like a giant ass crocodile. On this beach. But in order to spawn it, you have to go, I believe it's three to five minutes in this map area and don't kill a single character. You can pet them, you can hug them, and probably get yourself stung. But you just can't poke it with the sword. Right? Yeah, don't be rude to the characters and the crocodile will repay you by biting your head off. Well, I'll hunt it down later, but right now I am nowhere near ready to go for it, so I'm gonna avoid it like the fucking plague. Instead, uh, these fishes will do me better because they give almost 100 XP. Speaking of which, Penel... Oh, no, wait. Vaughn's at level 7 already. Please die. Thank you. I didn't even know they gave Mystic Clothes. Sweet. Alright, that takes care of that. We can get a merchant up here. Ah, uh, if you go to this merchant early, you can get Blizzard early. Just so I let you viewers know. Right? Well, I'm also being cheap and showing people how to get some stuff early. Like this, you can buy all the ammunition from this guy, all level 1s. So, if you're intending on going with a certain weapon that you need ammunition for, you can buy them from him. I also believe you can buy it from the first store. I'm also gonna buy some eye drops. So I don't have to worry about that shit later. <laughs> wow, the Firefly does absolutely nothing good and it gives me 800 gold still. New bizarre goods. Tale of the Phoenix. Two Phoenix downs. Wow. That makes me happy, right? All right. So, yeah. So Dontro's Don wife is right here. She's the one with the. She wants the uh, flower. We get a bundle of needles. Thanks. Slim clam shells. Now, unfortunately, I can't collect all the shells I need because I need to get to the other bank that I can't do right now. So, this side quest is over. 
Also, if you go behind the house, you can actually hear her moaning. Lol. The thought process coming from all that. He gets it. But uh, yeah, this is the other reason why you might want to come here early is connecting the uh, teleport crystals. And that takes care of uh, the hunt for now, so let's advance the story now. Hey, Echo Harps, they're always good. Hey, Vaughn. Hmm? It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Magello. And Vaughn, try to stay out of trouble. For me. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here, if something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. Sorry, Pinello. <laughs> At least I'm not the only liar. <laughs> Are you certain? <laughs> and watch all the viewers are like, hmm, that tone of voice. He's totally now innocent. You're wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First you go to Storehouse 5. You know the one. Two doors she has. Now the right takes Van Ratsbane to his territorial no, hunting No, I just realized this rabbit that I'm looking at has the fucking the longest go. tail no, ever. You'll take the left door down into the Garam Sight waterway. Yes, the waterway in this game it actually has a fucking a tail. I'll show, I just stair took a screenshot to of it. I'll send it to you in a moment. That's your way in. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy Dude, part. Dude, fuck no, I'm not counting Way my gill. That's not about a gill I gotta count. Carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn. <laughs> for the words I shall speak are most important and not to be forgotten. Do you understand? The signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the signet tile. Very important. Give to it the sun's power, and it will light your path. Very well. Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeon. So, look sharp, my boy. And don't go running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> and we get the Crescent Stone, which I already fucking had. So what the hell does this do for me? Jesus. Squads three through six are in place. They stand ready. So far, the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go now and hurry the others. By nightfall, we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir. Sir. treasure chest won't leave me the fuck alone so keep feeding me the uh, treasure chest keeps feeding me uh weed it's it's literally a leaf it keeps giving me <laughs> right
right. Uh, no, I can keep it and cure silence whenever I need to. Basically. Thank you. Thank you, you little shit. Oh my god. A kid actually does his job. And doesn't make me go do it. Two potions, four petals of eye drops. Fuck. I completely forgot he gives you free eye drops. Hello. That's, that's four more eye drops I'll have. The Gallium Waterway. Which has one of my favorite themes in the game, again. I think the whole soundtrack in this game is my favorite. Can we just go with that? I think my friend might have had an... Slight... Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. It... Gotcha. Oh, ouch. Yeah, folks, if he doesn't... If he doesn't speak to me, he's probably focusing on his game, so... Don't worry about that. Hi. That pebbles. Hey, look at that! Yes. Guess what I can earn in this game? Pebbles! <laughs> and they're useless! Yes. They only give me two gill! And that's it! Hi. Right. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> I can't do shit with them, but literally sell them. Yes. Get your ass back here, you little shit! Yes. Yeah, these rats will tend to run from you when you hit them, so... Just be prepared for that. Another eye drop. And another new enemy, some bats. Everything down here shouldn't be really that much of a problem for you, so... You don't really need to worry too much. For the most part, at least. Please go away. This will be an antidote. Another rat. No, get back here. Don't even try me, buddy. Don't try me. Yeah. Yay! Oh, jeez. The only thing I'll say right now is, when you come down here, make sure you have at least a good supply of potions. Th gives me a phoenix down, but I'm all alone. Yeah. I like that about the game. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah. Come here. You got hit. Everything. Hi, Bruce. Welcome to part four of the Let's Play. Tell him I said, welcome to part four of the Let's Play. <laughs> okay, uh, there is a rare game in this small hallway. Every time those fishes spawn, there's a 20% chance the rare game will spawn instead. And it would if I wouldn't have gotten a fucking thousand rats. Huh. Ooh, an arrow mute. Arrow is basically win elemental damage, and it's one of the best in this game. We're definitely going to be saving that. 
Not what I wanted. Light woven shirt. I think. <laughs> nice. I mean, at least it died, you know. Oh. <laughs> That, that doesn't sound good at all. I wonder if I can make this guy spawn either way. Uh, first, I think there's an yep, there's an item over here. Uh, remedies. Uh, remedies are not as powerful as they should be right off the bat. You actually have to unlock licenses for them to be able to start recovering other crap. So right now, all I can heal is blind, poison, silence, and slow. True. True, but they don't restore, like, all the stats that they should probably be doing. Like, the... <laughs> things like stone. Confusion. It was James. My dad said hi. He says hi back. This is not the fit. Man, this rare game just is not gonna spawn, is it? Uh, I just take my word that a rare game can spawn, but I'm not gonna waste all my life here. So, potion. Let's see. Another. Yep. Here we go. Let us climb. <laughs> Let us climb the stairs, not walk up the stairs. Let us climb them. Oh, uh, yeah, my homeboy. We'll be meeting them soon enough, folks. The Royal Palace of Rabanasta. So immediately turn around. Uh, these urns, they'll be in certain places in the game. You open it, you usually get a map. So now, our map for this place is complete. That sounds very, uh, disturbing. Yeah. He he he. Alright, let us continue. We're gonna save and continue onward. I wanna at least get as far as a certain point in this, so... Yeah. Let us do that. Good question, huh? <laughs> oh. Then I don't know. There are a lot of treasure chests all over this place. Antidote. A free elixir. You getting the elixir at the beginning of the game. Another remedy. Very. Okay, uh, f for those of you who don't know this, uh, just like I said, that treasure chest at Dallin's place that is connected to the Zodiac Spear, there's another one in here that is also connected to the Zodiac Spear for the PS2 version. So don't pick that up if you want that spear. No one goes upstairs. Step out and we will punish you. Screw you. I gotta say, I do not like these Imperials in their armor. That armor doesn't look comfortable at all. I know, but still, it actually really doesn't protect them, actually. <laughs> Cause even like, even like a normal human swinging a sword at them still kills them.
That's my question. <laughs> Even I don't know. <laughs> Ugh, so we got a bunch of e we got a bunch of items right off the bat of this game. We talk to this guy. I'll help you out. He's gonna help us get upstairs. Press the square to call the guard. So this <laughs> don't yell at me. Hey buckethead! <laughs> hey buckethead! So basically No, I call the soldier buckethead. Yeah. So it's the that it, that minigame is very simple. You just wait till the soldier passes you and then basically you pat you go up the stairs. Okay, this can get a little tedious if you don't know what you're doing. Hopefully I remember, which I believe I do. Alright. So you can press the square button to scout. Or, sh not sc scout. Shout. So what you want to do is shout to these two assholes. Hey, Buckethead! Turn around and run, and then go down. Try not to run into a soldier, or else you're starting from the beginning, which is never good. Now you want to find the lion signet, and then use the stone. It's very simple. Isn't that right, James? <laughs> I asked I asked the man who knows nothing about this game if he knew. So I believe this is the Yeah, this will be the third pattern up. So in the third row. Yeah, and there's only four rows, so Hello. now you want to get all the soldiers on the left to the right. Ah sh <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I screwed up. I accidentally uh, got caught because <laughs> I'm using the speed up function. Over no. here. No, it's uh, you're supposed to not get caught by the guards. But because but because I'm using a speed up button on my controller, I accidentally uh, I crashed into a wall. <laughs> hey, buckethead. Yeah. So don't use the speed up button when you're running from the guards. So that way you can actually see what the hell you're doing. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought I could do this a unique way and I screwed up. <laughs> Hello? This is why they added the speed button, folks. So, in case you become... Hey, Buckethead! Delirious like me and can't do this right now. <laughs> They gave you that option. Over here! Okay, now I've done this right. Hello? I did it, James. I did a simple task. <laughs> I would have loved it the minute you said that. It just actually comes up on my TV as an achievement, and I'm like, what? <laughs> what? I had to. Ac the only way to accomplish it is by being told by a friend. Yeah, this. I did not know. So yeah, that secret door will be right between the third and fourth row, so above the signet that you need. Yeah. yeah. Hey, watch it! You're in front of the door, dude. You're not gonna get hit. So, anyways, this is where we need to go. Let's examine the wall. There's more to this wall than meets the eyes. And if we come over here, there's a switch. If we press the switch. Now come back. Oh. Interesting. And there you go, folks. And this basically completes this place. Neither do I. <sighs> Oops. 
I didn't do shit. That's all I'm buying. <laughs> Ooh, shiny stone. Oh, quite a performance. Who are you? I play the leading man. Who else? <laughs> Fran, the magicite. Now then, I'll take that. No, you won't. I found it. It's mine. And then when I take it from you, it'll be mine. Yet I'll just sit here and do absolutely goddamn nothing. <sighs> Exit stage right. The gods do not smile on us. I like it better that way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? You. I suppose. Jesus. So we get the goddess Magicite. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna back away now. Time to bolt like hell. So that Magicite we just obtained is an actual equipable item. The gimmick is, is that uh, it raises your magic resistance by 13, which is broken for this point of the game, but you cannot use any magic. No, no, raises your magic resistance. Yeah. <laughs> right. So basically the idea is that you won't take magic damage like at all for a good portion of the game, but you will have no magic to use. So it's kind of a trade-off. Either way, time to get the fuck out of dodge. One fancy ass shit. <laughs> wow, killing your own soldiers. What a win. Stop running. Excuse me, how the hell did you get back to that so fast? End of the line. You have something that belongs to me. Asking for help since our friend's about to drop him. Right? What's going on, Fran? I don't know. It's not heeding me. Uh, don't have time for this. Uh, not slipping. Not good. When is it that? Uh, and thus. Bike crash, I think. Oh shit! <laughs> what happened? A hover didn't just drop; it disappeared. Ah, oh, forget it. Even if we could fly, the Ifrit's playing with fire, and I'd rather not get burned. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go the old-fashioned way. Yes, going through the sewers is much better. Not many Viera where you come from, thief. It's Vaughn. Sorry. Well, Fran is special in that she deigned to partner with a Hume. Oh? Like a sky pirate that chooses to steal through the sewers. Pirates? You're sky pirates? So you have an airship? It's Balthier. 
Listen, thief, Vaughn, if you ever want to see your home again, you'll do exactly as I say. Myself, Fran, and you, we're working together now. Understood? Yay! I get teammates! Out of force! Don't even think you're getting this. The thought never crossed my mind. Good, asshole. This ain't yours. Both here and Fran. I think I'm gonna deal with their. You know what? I will deal with their power ups now. Or their licensing. So for Balthier, I already had this plan. I'm going to make him into a Yushlin. I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> Good God. Help me, James. <laughs> Never mind. He's, uh. He's forever lost, folks. <laughs> In his. Uh, dangerous situation. I don't know if you're gonna die or not, so... <laughs> Damn. So that's that. Uh, I'm gonna go... go <laughs> great, and I'll be sent it after the fight. So, I'll go with this class for both here. This will let him use spears, and... This is probably one of the most important things in this game that you can be using for physical strength. Unfortunately, I forgot to buy a sphere for him, so... We're just gonna have to go with what I have for now. I also forgot to buy armor for him. Whoops. Oh well, I'll, I'll live with what I got. Hopefully. Uh oh, friend sounds like he's in danger. So yeah, these are the lures I was talking about for the remedies. So now that I got lure one for him, he can remove sleep, sap, immobilize, and disable. All oh, which are a pain. It's okay, dude. It, I was gonna say friend, but then I, for some reason, said dude. Wow, I'm mean. I'll upgrade his health a little more. I'm actually good where I am right now. Oh, right, I have to do this. And Fran, I'm actually going to make her a black mage. So her, fro uh, fro wow. her focus will be uh, black magic, basically. So we're going to unlock these first three. And <laughs> Fail. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I can't help you there, buddy. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. <laughs> right, I have to keep him knocking this crap. Down here will be most of her power up stuff. And then basically, both here, I think. Over here will be most of his uh, damage boosting crap, and then up here, up in these areas are just about probably everything else in minimum quality. So, just so you know, just so you folks know. I think we're gonna leave it at that for the time being. I'm gonna give Fran the head guard. Fran and Balthier start with the next level of light gear, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Balthier starts with a gun weapon. Of all things. Yeah. Gun weapons, they do. It may seem like they do a low amount of damage, but they completely penetrate uh, armor completely. So they'll do about. So they'll do about normal damage. And then bow and arrow, despite what that says, saying it might be higher dam- well, normal damage. They do a slight bit less damage, but they're a lot faster than most weapons. So, take it as you will. Yeah. Also, take note about guns. They're about 15% more slower than every weapon in the game. Right. So, if you- so, only use guns if you are automatically going quickly for swiftness uh, upgrades. 
Gun swiftness decreases the time it takes to attack by 10%. With anything. Anything. Yes, no matter what action you do, it will go down by 10%. Unless it's an item. An item uh, automatically activates. So, yeah. Keep that in mind, folks. Alright, since my eyes are right now burning out of my eyes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, I think we're going to call it apart here, because uh, I'm pretty sure I'm at the 40 minute mark, so that is probably going to do it for today. This is Brave Thunder signing out, along with, and we will see you guys next time, hopefully together, on the next part of Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age. Adios, Ami, and Bloodborne to hear more about it. And see more screenshots. Adios, sound amigos.